An orphan work is a copyright protected work for which right shoulders are positively indeterminate or uncontactable. Sometimes only originator or right shoulder name are known, yet contact is stymied by the exhaustive unavailability of sufficient further details. A work can become orphaned through right shoulders being unaware of their holding, or by their demise an establishing inheritance has proved impracticable. In other cases, comprehensively diligent research fails to determine any authors, creators or originators for a work. Extent Precise figures of orphan works are not readily available, even though libraries, archives and museums hold a vast number of them. In April 2009, a study estimated that the collections of public sector organisations in the UK hold about 25 million orphan works. Examples of orphan works include photographs that do not note the photographer, such as photos from scientific expeditions and historical images old folk music recordings, little-known novels and other literature. Software which became an orphaned work is usually known as abandonware. The Computerspiele Museum Berlin estimates that around 50% of their video game collection consists of at least partial orphans. Impact Orphan works are not available for legal use by filmmakers, archivists, writers, musicians, and broadcasters. Because right shoulders cannot be identified and located in order to obtain permission, historical and cultural records such as period film footage, photographs, and sound recordings cannot be legally incorporated in contemporary works. Public libraries, educational institutions and museums, who digitize old manuscripts, books, sound recordings and film, may choose to not digitize orphan works, or make orphan works available to the public, for fear that a reappearing right shoulder may sue them for damages, causes. According to Neil Netanel, the increase in orphan works is the result of two factors, that copyright terms have been lengthened, and that copyright is automatically conferred without registration or renewal. Currently only a fraction of old copyrighted works is available to the public. Netanel argues that right shoulders have no incentive to maintain a work in circulation or otherwise make their out-of-print content available unless they can hope to earn more money doing so than by producing new works or engaging in more lucrative activities. Specifics by country United Kingdom On 29 October 2014 the Intellectual Property Office launched an online licensing scheme for orphan works. United States, Canada Canada has created a supplemental licensing scheme under Section 77 of its Copyright Act. That allows licenses for the use of published works to be issued by the Copyright Board of Canada on behalf of unlocatable right shoulders. After a prospective licensor has made reasonable efforts to locate holders of copyright, as of August 2008, the board had issued 226 such licenses and denied seven applications. European Union The European Commission, the civil branch of the European Union, created a report on digital preservation of orphan works and out-of-print works. The European Commission also brought an arbitration against the United States in the World Trade Organization for the U.S. violation of the Berne Convention with the passing of the Fairness in Music Licensing Act. The United States lost the arbitration and is currently paying undisclosed reparations to the WTO. On June 4, 2008 European representatives of museums, libraries, archives, audiovisual archives and right shoulder signed a Memorandum of Understanding, an orphan works legislation supported by right shoulders. It will help cultural institutions to digitize books, films and music whose authors are unknown, making them available to the public online. In 2009 the Strategic Content Alliance and the Collections Trust published a report on the scope and impact of orphan works and their effect on the delivery of web services to the public. In October 2012 the European Union adopted Directive 2012-28 EU on Orphan Works. 
The directive applies to orphan works that were created in the EU as printed works, cinematographic and audiovisual works, phonograms and works embedded or incorporated in other works or phonograms. Under certain conditions, the directive can also apply to unpublished works. If orphaned software and video games fall under the audiovisual works definition is debated by scholars. Other nations similar to Canada, Hungary, India, Japan, Saudi Arabia, and South Korea have established state licensing options for orphan works.